Now, most of us have heard of rap and hip-hop. Some of us could even do the actions. It's taken me all day to about, learn that. I know, it has. But what about hip hopra? Well, it's a new brand of music that's developed from an education project at Glyndebourne, where else? Never mind all this. I'm worried now if I've done something rude. You if I have, I'm really sorry. Sign. <laughs> anyway, for, for three nights from tomorrow, uh, the famous opera house is staging a very modern version of Mozart's Cosi Fan Tutti. Uh, Catherine Carpenter has been along to rehearsals to see how School for Lovers is trying to attract a whole new audience. On <laughs> Let me give you a useful tip. See fidelity. Scratch that off your list. You'll find yourself searching for something. And this is something Mozart's Don Alfonso, as you've never seen him before. The 18th century cynic has been remodeled as a rapping music producer, played by successful hip hop artist Paradise. It's fun to play because I'm actually like an antagonist, a protagonist. So I get to do things. I get to manipulate. You know, I'm a puppet master. And what did you think when someone asked you if you wanted to get involved with an opera project? It was, huh? With a great exclamation point. And then it was, you know, realizing the theme of it. Once I realized the theme of it, then it was easier to go through it and translate it. Hey, check this out, sister. What Traditional opera singing gets a look in, even if the lyrics might have Mozart turning in his grave. It just seemed like a really good idea, you know, to experiment with two different art forms, to see what would happen, and, and for it to be an education youth project as well as a main stage show and as a co-production across Europe. Opera buffs will certainly get a crash course in hip-hop, but the learning works both ways. The teenage chorus is made up of street dancers and performers from Brighton and Hove, and rehearsing at Glyndebourne has been quite an eye-opener. I'd heard of it, but I wasn't too like, I was like, oh, Glyndebourne, and then I got here and I was like, it's actually massive. A lot of people like take a long time and lots of training and like when they're a lot older to try and perform at a place like this, but I'm doing it already so it's quite cool. It's just a pulse, a different pulse, from 16th century pulse to here we are today. And the pulse of today is hip hop. It's a global art form. It's what, you know, that is the pulse of this generation. Whether or not Glyndebourne's ready for it is another matter. Catherine Carpenter, BBC South East Today, Glyndebourne. So it's the baseball cap round the back. <laughs> All the gestures, all the bling. You've I know got it, it all. So I know good. it all. <laughs> if only it wasn't 128 years old, I'd be fine. You said it.